Hi students, now you are watching 7th class mathematics 2nd unit fractions. What is a fraction? A number which is in the form of A by B is called fraction. Means any number like 5 by 7 is a fraction, 3 by 4 is a fraction, 10 by 2 is a fraction, 100 by 99 is a fraction. So a number is in the form of A by B is called fraction. If the number is in, in this form, we are calling it as a fraction. Then what about the uh, number 5, 3, 10 and 100? These are called numerator. So a number in the form of A by, A by B is called fraction in that A is numerator, B is denominator. Okay. Understand right? What is a fraction? A number is in the form of A by B is called fraction. In fraction, the upper portion of a number is called numerator and the down portion of a number is called denominator. Okay. Now, I am going to write some fractions. 1 by 2, 3 by 4, 5 by 10, 9 by some 30, something like that. If you observe all these numbers, the numerator is less than the denominator. Right? The numerator is less than the denominator. If the numbers are like this, then we call it as a proper fractions. What we call proper fractions. If the numerator is less than the denominator, then those are called proper fractions. For example, if the numerator is bigger than the denominator, like 5, 11 by 5, 10 by 2, 100 by 50 or 1000 by 99. If the, here in these cases, the numerator is bigger than denominator. So, then we call it as improper fraction. Improper fraction. For example, I am going to take 11 by 5. The 11 by 5 is a improper fraction. The proper fraction we have to represent only in this form like A by B. But in case of improper fraction, we can also represent the number like this. For example, 11 by 5 now, you can also represent as 2, 1 by 5. So, 2, 1 by 5 is a combination of decimal and fraction. 11 by 5, we can also represent as 2, 1 by 5. And this 2, 1 by 5, we can also call it as a mixed fraction. Mixed fraction. Okay. Mixed fraction. Mixed fraction is nothing but combination of a decimal number and a fraction number. Understand here? So, how will you hope you know, right? How to write mixed fraction? I'll tell. Okay. If you divide 11 with 5, you will get the result. 5 to 10. And the remainder is 1. So, here the quotient remainder by divisor. 2, 1 by 5. Quotient, reminder and divisor. 2, 1 by 5. Okay, you can represent a improper fraction is in the form of a mixed fraction. Proper fraction, you can't represent in the form of mixed fraction. Only improper fractions we can represent in the form of mixed fractions. Understand, understand now? Now let us move to the first exercise. In exercise 2.1, the first question is, find the value of the following. They give two numbers, one decimal and one fraction and remaining all are fractions only. Okay, what they said, find the value of following. So, we have to calculate the value of this. I will tell two, three, four questions. You have to do remaining by your own in max HW. First one, 2 plus 3 by 10. Two plus three by ten. See, here two is in the form of decimal. Now I am going to convert two into a fraction ten. Two into ten by ten is equals to two or not? Ten ten cancel two only no. So I don't copy this. I am just telling your understanding purpose. Okay. So I am going to write two as two into ten by ten plus three by ten. This is the question that. The 2 
I am going to change it as 2 into 10 by 10. So 2 into 10 is 20. 20 by 10 plus 3 by 10. Now the denominators are same. So we can add the numerators. 20 plus 3. The answer is 23 by 10. 23 by 10 is a proper or improper fraction? This is improper fraction. So let us convert 23 by 10 into a mixed fraction. Twenty-three. Ten twos are twenty. Ten twos are twenty. Three is remaining. So we can rewrite twenty-three by ten as two three by ten, right? Two three by ten. Next question B. Four by eleven plus five by seven. Four by eleven plus five by seven. Four by eleven into seven seven by seven. Okay, seven seven cancels, then it will be four by eleven only, no? Plus five by seven into eleven by eleven. 11, 11 will get cancelled. The answer will be 5 by 7 only. So, there is no change if you multiply these numbers with 7 by 7 or 11 by 11. 7 fourths, 28 divided by 77 plus 5 11 55 divided by 7 by 7. Ho you must be able to understand now why I am multiplying like this. Because... To add these two numbers, these two fractions, I am making the new denominator equal. To make these denominators equal, we have to multiply that number with a some particular fraction. That is the reason I am multiplying 4 by 11 with 7 by 7 and 5 by 7 with 11 by 11. Even here also, I multiplied with 10 by 10 just because the other number denominator is 10. So, if you multiply a number with a, uh, with a number, which makes the denominator same, then it will be easy for us to calculate the numbers. Now the denominators are same. 28 plus 55. What is the result? 28 plus 55. 8 plus 5, 13. 5 plus 2, 7. And 8. 83 by 77. 83 by 77. So, this 83 by 77 is a improper fraction. Let us write it as a proper fraction. 77 ones. 13 minus 7, 5. So, the answer is 1 5 by 77. Understand? Sorry dear, 13 minus 7 is 6, no? So, 1 6 by 77. 1 6 by 77. Okay. In the same way, C and D also. But in case of A and B, we add the numbers. In case of C and D, we have to subtract the numbers. So, we have to do C and D as your own. Now, even E also. E is 3 numbers. It is an addition of 3 numbers, right? Now, I will explain F. Three one by four plus five one by six. This is a mixed fraction. No, first let us convert it into a improper fraction. Okay. So for three, how to convert into a fraction? 
you know right 4 3 is 12 12 plus 1 13 13 by 4 plus 6 5 is 30 30 plus 1 31 divided by 6 now uh, sorry don't take lcm 13 by 4 into 6 by 6 plus 31 by 6 into 4 by 4 so that the new denominators can be equal 6 4 sir 24 13 6 sir so now add the numerators 78 plus 35 8 plus 5 13 8 plus 3 11 1 1 3 by 24 and again this is also an improper fraction. Now let us convert the improper fraction into a proper fraction. Do the division. Sorry dear I have made a small mistake here. Please don't copy this part. 13 6 are 78 divided by 24 plus 31 into 4 right. 31 into 4. Uh, 124 by 24. Now we have to add 124 and 78. 12 7 plus 2 9 10. 202. 202 by 24. We can cancel it with a number 2. 2 1s, 2 2s. 1 0 1. Now 101. Let us divide. Twelve, um, twelve eights will be more, right? So this will be twelve eights. Twelve eights are ninety-six. Eleven minus five, five. Ten. So, you can re rewrite it as 8, 5 by 12. Understand, right? I, I did a small mistake here. Here, actually I multiplied the number here, but I forgot to multiply here. 31, 4 is 124. Now, I add 78 and 124. The result is 202. 202 by 24. And I cancel 202 by 24 with 2 multiple. So, it is it became 101 by 12. This is a improper fraction. That is the reason I converted it to a proper fraction. Sorry, mixed fraction. Okay. I will explain D also. One negative value also I will explain. Ma. 3 by 16 minus 4 by 25. 3 by 16 minus 4 by 25. 3 by 16 into 25 by 25 minus 4 by 25 into 16 by 16. So, this will become 25 3 is 75 divided by 25 into 16. 400 minus 4 into 16. 64 divided by again 400. So, 475 minus 64. 5 minus 4, 1. 7 minus 1, 7 minus 6, 1. So, the answer is 11 by 400. Shall we convert into improper fraction? No, we can't convert this into an improper fraction. Just because this is a proper fraction if it is an improper fraction only we can convert into a mixed fraction but here this is a proper fraction so we can't convert it into a mixed fraction right understand so uh, dear i explained already four problems you have to do remaining by your own okay now let us move to the second question three painters completed two by seven 1 by 5 and 3 by 10. 
of your work each one each on three consecutive days find out which painter did the most work in the three days okay so what they are saying there are three painters one day one painter came and he completed two by seven part of the paint the second day the second painter came and he completed one by five part of the paint and the third day the third painter did three by ten part of the paint so they gave in the form of a fraction if it is a numbers like one day he finished four rooms the second day he fin uh, the other painter finished three rooms means you can easily say which painter uh, did the more work right because those are decimal numbers if it is a fraction numbers how we have to compare these numbers okay now let us see the second question please write the complete question dears 2 by 7 1 by 5 and 3 by 10 these are the three numbers which they have mentioned the first painter did 2 by 7 part the second painter did 1 by 5 part and the third painter did 3 by 10 part so these are fractions if we is in the form of decimal we can easily said um, which painter did the more work so to make the these fractions as a comparable fractions let us make all the denominators same so that we can identify easily first painter work is equals to 2 by 7 this 2 by 7 i am going to multiply with 50 50 by 50 why i choose to 50 here instead of any other number the lcm of these three numbers is 350 to make the all the three denominators same i have to multiply 2 by 7 with 50 Okay, five into ten, fifty only. No, that is the reason. So two into fifty is hundred by seven into fifty means three fifty. Okay. Second painter work is equals to one by five. One by five, and to make the Denominator same. I have to multiply with seven tens seventy. Seventy by seventy. Seventy into one seventy divided by five into seventy three fifty. Third painter work is equals to three by ten into seven fives. Seven fives. Now the denominators are same. Now compare only the numerator, which is the biggest number, and out of hundred seventy one not five, which is the biggest number, one not five is the biggest number. So the third person did the highest work. Now you can write the conclusion easily. Third painter. Did the most sorry most of the most work that is equals to three by ten. Okay, now you understand now how to compare two fractions. If you want to compare any two fractions, first make the denominators same. so that you can compare the numerators and you can find out okay now let us move to the third question 
the length and breadth of your rectangle so there is a rectangle okay Th that uh, that rectangle length and breadth they have to 12 4 by 5 meters and 9 1 by 2 meters respectively okay find its param perimeter you know right perimeter formula what is perimeter formula 2 into l plus b please copy the complete question there third question they gave ls 12 4 by 5 meter and breadth is 9 1 by 2 meter now they are asking us to find its perimeter okay so first length length is equals to 12 4 by 5 it is a mixed fraction let us convert it into a proper fraction 12 5 is a 60 60 plus 4 64 divided by 5 next breadth b equals to 9 1 by 2 9 2 is 18 18 plus 1 19 by 2 now perimeter perimeter of a rectangle is equals to 2 into l plus b it means 2 into l is 64 by 5 plus b is 19 by 12 now let us make the denominators same for that we have to multiply 64 by 5 with 2 and 19 by 5 with 5 this denominator we have to multiply with this this denominator we have to multiply with this so that the denominators will be same Sixty-four twos, one twenty-eight by ten plus nineteen fives are nineteen fives are ninety-five by. Oh wait 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 wait. Here I have to multiply with two, right? Yeah, nineteen by two. 19 by sorry here it is 5 only 5 by uh, by 10 5 19 by 2 into 5 to z 10 here i just wrote as a 2 now 2 into 128 plus 95 mm, 8 plus 5 13 12 223 by 10 2 ones 2 fives therefore the answer is 223 by 5 now write the final statement therefore the perimeter of a rectangle is equals to 223 by 5 meter don't forget to mention the units here now let us move to the fourth question the length of your rope is 13 1 by 5 meter out of which 9 1 by 2 meter of your rope is used for fixing a banner find the length of the remaining loop so what they are saying is there is a rope Rope means Tadu. There is a rope and the length of that rope is 13 1 by 5 meter. Okay, the length is 13 1 by 5 meter. In 13 1 by 5 meter rope, they used 9 1 by 2 meter. Okay, pedda Tadu nanta. Then length okay, mixed fraction lo itcharu. A pedda Tadu lo ninchi konta bagam ante 9 1 by 2. Tis koni. Either banner cut to Danikani Upyok in Charenta. Okay, now understand right? So there is a rope which is length of 13 1 by 5 meter. In that, they used only 9 1 by 2 meter rope to fix a banner. 
so they used some rope now they are asking us to find the remaining rope okay find the remaining rope means what we have to do we have to subtract the amount please copy the complete question so these are the two values this is the total length of the this is the total length of the rope and this is the used length of the rope now we have to calculate remaining length of the rope first the length of a rope is equals to 131 by 5 meter this 131 by 5 let us convert into a fraction 13 fives are 65 65 plus 1 66 by 5 meter now rope used to fix the banner 91 by 2 meter convert it to a fraction 9 twos 18 plus 1 19 by 2 meter therefore remaining rope is equals to 66 by 5 minus 19 by 2 66 by 5 into 2 by 2 because here the denominator is 2 minus 19 by 2 into 5 by 5 66 into 2 132 to 2 by 10 minus 19 fives are 95 by 10 now the denominators are same so 132 to 2 minus 95 132 to 2 minus 95 Thirty-seven by ten. This is a improper fraction. So let us convert thirty-seven with into a uh, mixed fraction. Ten threes thirty-seven. So so the answer is three seven by ten. Okay. The answer is three seven by ten. Therefore, the remaining rope is equals to three seven by ten meter. You must always write the final statement with units. Okay. Now I am going to move to the fifth question. The fifth question is also same. See. what they said a can contains this is not can ma this is can for can and can both are same spellings but we have to read according to the situation a can contains 2 1 by 2 liters of oil in one can there is some oil which is 2 1 by 2 from which 1 4 by 5 liter of oil is used for making potato chips to make the potato chips they used some oil find the quantity of remaining oil in the can okay so in the same process you have to negotiate 1 4 by 5 value from with 2 1 by 2 understand you have to do fifth question by your own in the max hw by this the exercise 2.1 is completed in the next video i will explain the next exercise okay children this is corona time please make sure everyone do the gargling with warm and salt water mix some rock salt sea salt you can use a sea salt and uh, take one spoon of sea salt and mix in the warm water after mixing the water take that water in a glass and do the gargling twice a day so that you can avoid all the diseases which makes a corona okay and one more thing use the steaming Use a steaming also and do the kung fu exercise daily. Okay, bye, ma.